And welcome back everybody. This is GitHub and Git. And this is the case if you felt a little bit lost when you looked at uh, the procedure for setting it up. Here's where I try to draw you a picture. That's why I have the sub thing about how can I go with the flow if I don't know where it's flowing. Well, here's the flow chart. Alright, here's the outline. We'll go from GitHub to your workstation, and then we'll talk about on your workstation, and then we'll go all the way back up to GitHub. All right, from GitHub to your workstation. Here's my repository on GitHub. Here's your computer. Okay, first thing you did was you forked to your GitHub repository. Then you cloned it down on your workstation. You have a folder on your workstation. Okay, and just to make sure that you set things uh, for the future, you set your upstream to my GitHub and you set your origin to yours. Now these are things that you should do once even though I got it set, set up there twice. You should only have to do this once. Okay, you sit there, you work on lab one, you're done with lab one. Okay, first of all you got in this folder, the lab one folder, you got to do git add dot. That has the, all the files in there to uh, including the new uh, lab that you are trying to send me. You then commit it, and what happens is it's already in the folder, and it's already saved, but Git, your Git repository doesn't have it recorded yet on your machine. Well, when you commit it, then Git knows you got it, and you have it. Okay, next step is you push Origin Master. That's where you push it up to your cloud. Okay, and then the first time you put a pull request. Now, as long as I don't come back and, put, and uh, close out your pull request, you don't need to make another pull request, and that's how we'll do it for this uh, for this site. In an actual uh, work situation, the pull request would be my signal as the master programmer to come in, look at your code, and merge it with everybody else's and referees necessary. Okay, a few notes. Uh, if you're on the intranet, you're not going to get GitHub, and it's not really necessary. The nice thing about GitHub is you have a very solid off-site storage for your um, for your source code so if something happens disastrous on site you still can recover okay master is the main branch that is the branch that you normally use for production now our branches allow parallel processing like we might have two or three uh, sub projects like we have a group working on uh, user interface, user input, we have another one working on reports and another one still working on reports because it doesn't seem like there's ever enough reports. Here's an example of how you could split that in right here. Employee trap and customer track and inventory. Master is supposed to be the current production version at all times. Of course the thing about Git is like the thing about agile development. It is what people make it. Okay, this is, hope this helped. This is a visual on Git and GitHub.